my multimodal design. The design process. The topic that I chose was the racial implications of the war on drugs. This was my topic of choice because I wanted to find out if the war on drugs was and still is an inherently racist movement. My target audience is lawmakers on the federal and state level who have the power to change these laws that were put forth during the war on drugs era. The overall purpose is to show these lawmakers how these laws are responsible for the racial discrepancy that we see in drug-related incarcerations. The platform of choice is an infographic created through Canva. Prototyping. I started my research from an unbiased perspective to figure out if the war on drugs movement itself is responsible for the racial discrepancy among drug-related incarcerations across the country. After seeing evidence that strongly suggested that the war on drugs was in fact responsible for aforementioned discrepancy, I began to gather sources that best displayed how and why the war on drugs is the enemy to blame. I chose Canva for my infographic platform and started to use varying templates for my information to see which one my information did look the best on. After finally choosing a layout, I began to add clip art images and graphs to attempt to show the racial discrepancy. The final project. Here we have my infographic. As you can see, it is split up into four subcategories, all of them claiming a number that attaches them to a source on the citations page. The kind of information I used was the fact that a black person is nearly four times as likely to be arrested for marijuana possession as a white person, even when the circumstances are borderline the same. Another piece of information I used was how two very similar drugs in crack and cocaine are prosecuted so differently, even though they're borderline the same thing. Rhetorical analysis. Rhetorical analysis arguments. I attempt to use ethos by building credibility and trust with the audience by showing my sources everywhere they appear in the infographic, just so they know where everything came from and so they can go back and double check anything that they would like to. I'm able to utilize logos by using statistics that show how these laws produce a racist outcome. Hopefully by doing this, the lawmakers will see the logic in the need of change for these laws and will take the steps necessary in order to alter them. I'm able to draw an emotional appeal from the audience by discussing the conversation between former U.S. Presidents Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon in which they laugh over being racist and calling black people cannibals and monkeys. Design choices. I decided on an infographic because I enjoyed the creative aspect of it and the freedom to put as much or as little information on it as I'd like. When designing the layout, I elected to have my main colors be black, red, and green. I, may, I did this because these are the same flags that appear on the Black Liberation flag. I also placed each citation with a number and used that number in every instance where the source appeared. With the information then looking relatively empty, I elected to add some anti-drug images and clip art to clarify that I am in fact anti-drug while still being anti-war on drugs. Lastly, I did decide to add a graph that showed the arrest rates by race from 1980 to 2010, but these arrest rates were only conducted in which drugs were related, and I did this to sh show just how much this discrepancy has grown over the past few years. Conclusion